Hello there, welcome along to Pure Pens TV. Uh, we're quite often asked by people what the difference is between the different Noodler's pens that we offer, uh, whether it's a size, price, what functionality they have. So we thought we'd put together this little video that looks at each one in turn and tells you its features. Uh, so we hope you enjoy. Firstly, we have the Nib Creeper. This is the smallest of the Noodler series. It's Nathan Tardis' first effort at a fountain pen, and it's a lightweight but durable build at a really affordable price. Its nib reportedly also makes it a great pen for Pittman shorthand. It has got a relatively small ink capacity but still holds around 0.7 millilitres which is about the same as a normal small ink cartridge. It's operated by a piston filling mechanism so you simply turn the end of the pen and that moves the piston inside the barrel. It's really straightforward but you can only use bottled ink uh, which makes sense really from a company who only make bottled ink and no ink cartridges. The nib is a size 2 and in the same style as its bigger brother the Ahab, it's a flexible nib and features the classically wet Noodler's ink flow that you'll experience across the series. Just press sufficiently hard on your downstrokes to get flex out of the nib and the variation will be something from around 0.9mm to a massive 2mm at its maximum flex. Overall it's a fantastic and affordable entry level pen to the Noodler's range. The Conrad is a step up in size from the Nib Creeper, but not as large as the Ahab. You'll get the same wetness as you do from the Ahab Nib, as they both have the same size 6 flexible nib. The piston mechanism is hidden under what's called a blind cap, so you take the end of the barrel off and then use it in the same way that you would a standard piston fountain pen. There are a couple of variations on the Conrad too. You have the slightly larger Ebonite and acrylic versions, and also the Dixie No. 10 as well slightly more expensive price tag than the Nib Creeper, the Conrad does have an increased ink capacity of about 1.5 millilitres. It's similar in style and feel and size to a vintage uh, German fountain pen, something like a Pelican M400. The most popular model in the Noodles pen range though has got to be the Ahab. It's a favourite of many, thanks to it pretty much encapsulating all the main Noodles characteristics. It's got the wet, flexible size 6 nib and is pretty much 100% deconstructible. The filling mechanism is unique in comparison to the Nib Creeper and Comrade 2. It has a standalone plunger which can be removed and replaced with a reloadable cartridge which is available separately, or you can remove that plunger and fill the whole barrel with an eyedropper if you prefer. One of the main draws of the Ahab is the ink capacity. You can fit around 1.8mm of ink in the plunger giving it around 2 mil of total ink capacity when you take into account the ink in the feed, which is quite incredible, but the eyedrop version gives it around 5 millilitres of ink. The Nippon set is the most expensive pen in the Luda's range, and it features a slightly wider and longer barrel than the Ahab. It's also made from a higher quality material, this time acrylic, and as a result it feels like a really good quality pen. The big standout feature of the Nippon set is the three-tine music nib. This allows for more ink flow to the tip and some flex, although not as much as the Ahab and Nib Creeper versions. There you go, so there are a couple of points to remember in addition to that. Firstly, when you first get your pen, your Noodles pen, it would be worth flushing it out um, with a bit of warm water, maybe with a little detergent in it because this will remove any residual um, manufacturing sort of oil from the nib and make sure that it flows as it should. Some people, although it's quite rare, some people find them a little bit dry to begin with and this tends to eradicate that. The second thing is if you have one of the Ahab or Nib Creeper models, then they can turn up with a distinctive smell. It comes from the material that they're made from. Uh, this will fade with time. Uh, some people have told us that sunlight helps. So. Um, just bear in mind that smell will pass. Some people like it, most people have given us feedback that they don't. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and visit us across the other social media platforms that we're on uh, and you can also visit our website at purepens.co.uk to see the full range that we currently have in stock. Thanks for watching, bye bye for now.